Good Saturday evening, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, just past the top of the hour. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. A very quiet evening, a few showers out there and maybe a couple of thunderstorms into overnight, but we really don't have much of anything else going on, at least just yet. Doesn't look like any severe weather heading our way for the time being. Also, the rest of the weekend, again, some increasing chances of showers and thunderstorms. We'll talk about that coming up in just a little bit. Your complete forecast through the weekend and beyond. If you can't wait that long, it's in the red bar at the bottom of your screen, scrolling on by here, and then also available at WREG.com and handy seven-day forecast information right there. You can also catch us on social media. Questions, concerns, anything you'd like to see on here, please let me know at austin.onic at WREG.com slash weather or austin.onic.wreg, which is my email address, not the website combined with that. I haven't had enough coffee, and I've been up since 3.30 this morning, so apologies for that. Currently in the Mid-South, again, not that much going on immediately. But again, we could see some more showers and thunderstorms overnight. If you've got a location, let us know where you're checking in from and give us a weather report. And we'll read that on the camera as we go on throughout the rest of the evening. So temperature, wind speed, rain gauge, if you got anything, humidity values, anything like that. If you've got that weather station for the holidays or your birthday in the last several weeks and months, put that to good use. Let's do some amateur meteorology and see what's going on out there. If you have any weather pictures, we'll show those coming up here in just a little bit. Again, some of what we've gotten, not all of them, we try to post them to, again, as many as our social media networks as we possibly can. But if you've got weather pictures, tweet them to me at aonic underscore WREG3 on Twitter. Or, again, you can email them to me at austin.onic at WREG.com. Next few hours, decently comfortable. I wouldn't exactly call it cooler, but it's much less hot than what it has been over the last several weeks. So we should be looking into the mid-upper 70s as we get toward daybreak tomorrow morning and then a pretty warm day and a warm series of days coming up into the course of the next several days into next week. The extended forecast has some hotter weather out there, but unfortunately we may not see anything in the way of much cooler weather coming our way until we get a decently powerful cold front coming in, so this might be as good as we see for the time being. Meanwhile, into overnight, mostly clear to partly cloudy skies and the isolated possibility of a thunderstorm kind of diminishing as we go overnight, but still possible. Less chances into tomorrow morning, better chances as we head into tomorrow afternoon. So that, again, is going to be about as good as it gets right there. From Graceland, looks like the video is having some trouble streaming from the Graceland.com website, 84 degrees nearby at Memphis International Airport. Sunset just finished up, just around the upper corners of the roof up there. And wind's comfortable out of the east at about 13 miles per hour out there. Several of you checking in with some uh, nicer conditions out there. Elizabeth Whitlock Haynes feels amazing outside. Same thing for downtown at this point in time. Diane Murchison, nice weather in Memphis proper today. Glad to hear about that. 84 and clear in New Bern, Tennessee. Paulette Morrow, thank you very much for that. Brownfield, Mississippi. Lisa Boyd Wilbanks, thank you very much for checking in with cloudy skies and 80 degrees. And as of right now, the rest of the area uh, checking in with a few areas here, a lot of people checking in various locations, and we'll see about uh, more of the weather coming up. Beautiful and cool on the river, Angela Balkans Low. Thanks for you for uh, checking in. 78 in Olive Branch, Karen Ann Brown, hope I'm saying that right. Thank you very much for that. David White, hot and muggy in Houston. If that's uh, Houston, Texas, wave hello to my cousin Anita, who works as a nurse down that direction, and my uncle and cousins down that way as well. Spectacular sunset on the river. Our cotton exchange camera looking over the Mud Island south portion of the river walk there, Mississippi River, eastern Arkansas. Traffic on I-40 moving along pretty nicely at this time and a spectacular view. If this works properly in the next few minutes, this should illuminate the underneath of these clouds here to a nice rosy glow. It'll only last for a couple of minutes, but if you have this setup right here to where the sun's going to shine on the underneath of the clouds, try to get some pictures of that. That'll be some spectacular views coming up. This one, again, from our live webcam at Shelby Farms Park. A few people out and about for this evening. High temperature today actually hit 89 degrees. That's just below normal for this time of the year. Nowhere near the record high. Thank you very much. No rainfall to report either for the month. Only two hundredths of an inch, and we're now only about six and a third inches ahead for the year, but at least we still have that surplus, so that's definitely good news as we close out early uh, Saturday evening. 
Storm Tracker 3S radar, not much of anything showing up at this point. We do have, again, a few sprinkles passing through from time to time, but beyond that, just really not that much happening at this point. And throughout the rest of the evening, again, doubtful we're going to be seeing too much of anything in the way of major problems. Now, occasionally we are getting some lightning right back down around Tate County. Okay, sorry about that. Looks like the touch screen is having some trouble, so we'll just do this the old-fashioned way. Shower around Tunica and Senatobia. A couple of rumbles of thunder taking place here. Nothing severe, just an isolated thunderstorm, and that's going to continue to drop its way to the southwest. If this seems a little weird, it's nothing really all that strange. The high-pressure area sitting north of us is bringing in winds out of the northeast, so that's channeling everything from northeast back to the southwest. So that's why we seem to have things kind of a little bit backwards as opposed to what is normal, but a few people out there getting worried that this is a major shift in the atmosphere or something dangerous going on. It's not. It's just the way the atmosphere circulates, and that's about it. So as of right now, Northeast winds actually keeping our temperatures down a little bit as opposed to those very steamy winds that came up from the Gulf of Mexico over the last few weeks. Lower 80s right now, live real-time weather net 3 showing again some breezy winds out across much of the area. Running the numbers into overnight, a stray chance of a shower or thunderstorm like what we're seeing down around Senatobia right now. Repicking up again into tomorrow morning and continuing through the rest of the afternoon. So if you have any outdoor plans, Earlier tomorrow is going to be better rather than later because by tomorrow afternoon, about the peak heating time of the day, some areas could be looking at upper 80s to right around 90 degrees or so. So that could be something to take a look at there. And then also, again, showing the winds out of the east coming in from off portions of the east coast at this point in time. Uh, cat cough, cold water getting a shower. I think I see Dorothy and Toto. Last time I saw that was at the Wizard of Oz Museum in Wamigo, Kansas. Definitely a place to check out if you decide to head back to try to find the Yellow Brick Road. Oklahoma City, Jamie Poteet Burfield, welcome to the show for tonight. Thank you very much for checking in. Wendy Black, wonderful in South Haven right now. Thank you very much. Carol Ebert, cool and breezy in Covington. Thank you very much uh, for checking in from there. Uh, Stacy Matlock, beautiful in Olive Branch. Melanie Tidwell Thompson, beautiful in Germantown. Thank you very much uh, for that one. And everybody else checking in across much of the area for right now. Sandra Lemon Caps, looking for winter. We'll have to start the autumn countdown clock one of these days to see how much time we have left before that happens. Back a little warmer tomorrow, maybe by a degree or two upper 80s to close to 90 degrees, and chances of showers and thunderstorms will be popping up a little bit more numerous tomorrow. The best possibility of thunderstorms will be Monday, looking at about a 60% coverage chance there, so swimming lessons for the kids, vacation Bible school outside, golf practice for you, whatever you've got. If it's outdoors, be prepared to move back indoors again as we get some more widespread showers and thunderstorms. And remember, if you're on the golf course or just out and about and you hear thunder and think, oh, well, that's just thunder, that can't hurt me, remember where thunder comes from. Again, just a little weather hint there to think about what's nearby you and how to be safe from that stuff. When thunder roars, go indoors. Let's all stay safe through the summer season. 90s by about Tuesday. This is below normal. This is getting back closer to normal at this time of the year, and isolated chances of showers and thunderstorms winding up this next week. Lows not much better than the mid-70s or so, and lower 90s for highs. Turning off the spigot a little bit by next weekend, at least that's the way it looks right now may not happen that way in the next several days. Again, as you go farther into the future, things get a little bit more wibbly-wobbly uncertain, so we'll keep our eyes on that. So keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for updates on that. Into the rest of the forecast, we're watching two storms at this point in time. The one that's farther out is Beryl. The stronger one at this point, a tropical storm, was a Category 1 hurricane earlier today, downgraded to a tropical storm this morning, and is now continuing its trek back to the west at about uh, 17 miles per hour. This could be affecting Puerto Rico in the next few days. Whether or not it gets stronger again, kind of iffy on that. A lot of dust in the atmosphere, not exactly too warm in the waters, so we may or may not see a lot of development out of this anytime soon. Either way, could be some pretty good rain for Puerto Rico pretty close to the next couple of days. Now, tropical depression number three 
into and around the East Coast states. This one may need to be paid attention a little bit more in the next couple of days because this thing is going to be circling right off the East Coast states, and this should become our next named storm. Matter of fact, this could change. Well, it uh, looks like it's gone to a tropical depression for right now. Still winds at 35 miles per hour and registering is stationary. By later on this week, possibly by tomorrow, according to the National Hurricane Center, this could be a tropical storm, the sea name storm. That's what we should be looking again at the changes taking place there. If you're going to the East Coast states, pay attention to this because this storm, again, hopefully is not going to double back, but this is something to really pay attention to, especially if you're traveling. There's no point going to some place if you're just going to have to turn back around with an evacuation order and get out of the area. So keep Keep it tuned to News Channel 3. We'll keep you updated on that. Coming up this evening at about 9.34, again, the cloud cover out there might interfere a little bit, but a super bright pass, very, very bright, brighter than a couple of the stars in the sky out there, easily seen if the skies were clear, but we're looking toward possible uh, mostly cloudy skies tonight. Iridium number 64 is going to be passing very close to the bright star Vega in the eastern skies. And again, that's going to be about 934 this evening. It's an Iridium satellite, one of a communications network satellites that are going to be deorbited very soon. So this is going to be one of the last chances you see over the next several weeks and months to be able to see this. You'll see a bright point of light fade into view and then fade back out again all within about 20 to 30 seconds. So you've got to be looking right up in this portion of the sky, and that'll be happening in just about an hour and 20 minutes or so if you'd like to take a look at this. And again, that'll be in the eastern skies, but mostly cloudy skies could kind of impede viewing out there. So please keep that in mind for right now. Breezy in East Memphis, Katie Dupree. Thank you very much for that one. Betty Coleman Lucky, Milan, Tennessee, needs more rainfall. Thank you very much uh, for that one. Need more rain in... Horn Lake, Marsha Jones, thank you very much. 82 and Windy and Bartlett, Paulette Anders, thank you very much uh, for that one. Fins Up Sports Apparel, looking great in Oxford. Thank you very much uh, for that one. And everybody else checking in from across the Mid-South, thank you very much uh, for checking in. If you're away from your phone, your tablet, your computer, catch us on the radio with our forecast throughout the rest of the weekend on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network stations, Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3. We'll keep you updated there. Thanks to everybody for some great weather pictures out there from MS Storm Center and Chuck Wicker, some very nice lightning pictures around the area of Oxford earlier this week. And this is just one of a handful that he has sent to us. We're trying to pass those along on social media as quickly as we possibly can uh, without overcrowding everybody's feed, but this is just one of those spectacular shots that they captured down around Oxford earlier this week. Thank you for that one. Raising girls, a little difficult to see right there, but a nice rainbow right through the middle of the picture around Highway 59 in and around Somerville, Tennessee. So thank you very much for that one. And sunrise this morning, again, a few clouds getting in the way but a nice view of Northeast Arkansas from our frequent contributor, Louis Haskett. Thank you very much uh, for that one for there. If you've got pictures, again, please email them to me or send them along at my various social media network pages. We'd be glad to have you along for the ride. And or you can tweet them to me if you've got Twitter at aonic underscore WREG3. And again, we'll try to feature them on News Channel 3 netcasts and newscasts when we have time to do so. We'll have another edition of Weather Overtime coming up here in just a about uh, 15 minutes on my Facebook page. And if you'd like to know more about that, again, just head to facebook.com slash WREG, and we'll take a look at weather where the troops are for this 4th of July holiday week. If you'd like to know a little bit more about what weather was like, where friends or loved ones of yours possibly were serving in the military, we'll take a look at that coming up here in just a little bit. We'll also have an update on all the day's news with Kristen Holloway, sports with Megan Rice in just a bit, and then also with, again, myself, yours truly, with News Channel 3 on the weather coming up a little bit later on at this point. Vicki Turner, Shelby, heading down I-40 dry at Sycamore View exit. Thank you very much. Uh, for that weather report out there. And thanks to everybody for checking in from across the Mid-South. Sprinkling in Mount Moriah area, Darlene Hill Handley. Thank you very much uh, for that one as well. More coming up at 835, more on News Channel 3 at 10, and I'll be back with Nina Harrelson coming up bright and early tomorrow morning on News Channel 3 Daybreak, so stay tuned for more there. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining us for tonight's early edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime, and stay tuned for a 
lot more at WRHE.com slash weather throughout the rest of the weekend.